Tigers, Donovan Williams, Cam Denson, Judson Martindale, Mo Odom, and Makai Richards. Our officiating crew, Ryan Holmes, Glenn Mayberry, and Matt Rafferty. And Makai Richards, Graham E.K. will handle the opening tip. It is up. It's won by the Tigers, who are in the home whites, and Gonzaga in the traveling blues. And Donovan Williams will get the ball into the front court for Pacific. Again, coming off a 48-point loss to St. Mary's on Thursday, in which they scored only 28 points, only 14 points in each half. So the Tigers looking for a fast start here. And Mo Odom nearly gave him one, but that one rattles out. Yeah, good shot. Now Gonzaga's first possession, Anton Watson... The Spokane native out to Greg and back inside to Watson. Watson going to work on Cam Denson underneath the goal. Gives it out now, left wing to Greg and to Nolan Hickman. Hickman guarded up top by Donovan Williams to E.K., the Wyoming transfer. E.K. banging his body down low with six on the timer. E.K. leaves it short. Williams clamps the miss. Odom looking to push. Martindale running the baseline, and Martindale trying to leave a pass in the lane. Nobody was there, but the Tigers fortunate. He's got to stop, you know, make a jump stop, and then make the pass. You're passing off the dribble pretty tough. Five to shoot, and Judson Martindale trying to make something happen. Gets in the lane, scoops it, can't get it. And Greg with the rebound. This is Ryan Nemhard. Of course, his brother Andrew played at Gonzaga as well. And the ball is going to be out of bounds back to the Tigers. So still waiting for points here. That was a good drive by Martindale. There's five seconds on the shot clock. I always like players driving the ball to the basket, have a chance to get fouled, and also make an easy basket. Zag's applying some light backcourt pressure. The Tigers get it across. Cam Denson, powerful spin move, and he can't get Pacific on the board. This is Watson, and Watson lost it out of bounds. And they're going to say Tigers were last to touch. Fans don't like it. They thought that uh, it was just lost well, he out lost of the hands the of Watson. Tough to tell there on the replay. Kai Richards maybe got a fingertip on it. That's well, yeah, the but I mean, what I'm saying, if you're watching that play and you don't know, that, that should be the Tigers' ball. Nemhard lobs it baseline left to EK. For 20 seconds on the shot clock, and Nemhard can't break the ice. EK pushed off for the rebound, so loose ball foul. The Tigers will get it back. Still nothing, nothing inside the first two minutes. Obviously a lot of energy tonight here in the Spano Center. The fans, uh, as tradition here, do not sit until the Tigers score their first points. That's why you see everybody standing. You never I, I, like that. No, I like the opposite. I like to stand until the visitors score. This way you want them standing a long time. Where the other way, you don't want them standing very long at all. I think you bring up a good point there. But it's the way it's always been done, even when you were coaching here. Amazing you didn't have the, the pull to change that when you were coaching. I tell you, my last year I almost changed it because we were down 9 nothing at home about three times to start, start the year. And we won all those games, but... I remember calling those games as Denson trying to beat the shot clock. Cants. Watson drives right of the lane. Can't sneak it through. So still, Bagels up on the scoreboard. Odom thought about shooting, gives it up to Williams instead. Lift fake, Williams no daylight after that lift fake, so gets it back to Odom. Odom double teams, and now Williams a deep three, and that won't go. Still nothing, nothing. Hickman with a shot fake, and he will get fouled on a reach. I don't know why guys are leaving their feet on the perimeter. He's a big player, a little guard, and he's leaving his feet to create that penetration. Just challenge the shot when he shoots it. Ryan Nemhard, who transferred in from Creighton, was the most decorated freshman at Creighton since Doug McDermott. A solid player. That found his way to Gonzaga, and uh, Gonzaga with the first points of the game. And it's Graham E.K. doing the honors. Stop, 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 stop. 
Odom, good quickness, unable to finish. Richards' offensive rebound. Why didn't he go back up with it? Instead, Martindale will try and make a three, and he does. He's going to get a three. Easiest three-point shot in basketball. Inside, outside shot. I don't disagree, but it looks like... But Richard shouldn't look to tap. At least check it out. Looks like had he turned around, he could have just stuffed it home. But He's just not a very confident player inside. Tigers will take it, and Gonzaga commits an offensive foul, and it's going to be on Graham E.K. Judson Martindale getting Pacific on the board. So finally, it took about four minutes, but the fans able to sit here in Stockton. Pacific with the lead, something they didn't have at St. Mary's. They never did have a lead in that game. And a good early start here for the Tigers. They've kind of made it grindy. They've played, they've played good defense. They've rebounded very well. And the Tigers make two or three turnovers already. This is Martindale walled off. Denson leaves for Richards. Richards going to work. Left hand and can't get the bounce. The four guys standing around and a lot of guys dribbling. You know, it's a... It's hard to create some things. You need more ball movement and dribble penetration. Nolan Hickman started 36 games last year as a sophomore. Give it up top to Greg and now to Nemhard. Ten to shoot. Nemhard to Hickman and on balance three, and he missed everything. I know they've had a tough time shooting the ball of late, and I, I think USF really re rebounded well against them. Good dish from Odom to Richards. That's a good good finish right there. So count the basket, and there was a foul on the back end, and the foul is going to be uh, looking for their first league win. It's odd to see Gonzaga come in, Coach, uh, as an unranked team. They've been ranked uh, the last many times they've come in here. I don't remember them coming in here not ranked, but, you know, if you're Mark Few, uh, you still have a really good squad, obviously, and then most down years for Gonzaga – a lot of teams around the country would take as an up year. So, you know, looking at Gonzaga, I don't know if you wa you've watched them along the way, but what's it going to take for them to kind of find that second gear that we've been accustomed to them them finding? I think sometimes you, you know, you just think you're Gonzaga and you're, you're going to win games. And you win games and you play good basketball. You know, you pass the ball to each other, you take good shots, you make good shots, and you play good defense and you got to rebound the ball. I, don't, I think their inconsistency in rebounding and shooting has, has made them be a little more inconsistent. Obviously, Drew Timmy was such an anchor for them for a number of years, and they're without him this year. So it is kind of a transition year for the Zags, who just turned the ball over. And this has been a good start here for the Tigers as Richards down low turns around and lays it in. Very good job passing the ball. So the Tigers off a 48-point loss at St. Mary's the other night have made some noise here in the first half, and there's going to be an over-the-back foul on Cam Denson trying to rebound over Watson. That's too quick a whistle on that. They need to let guys fight for the ball a little more. Mentioned Braden Huff is on the floor for Gonzaga. Redshirt freshman from Glen Ellen, Illinois. And also true freshman Dusty Stro uh, Stromer from Sherman Oaks is on the floor now for the Zags. Emhart nearly fumbled it away. Top to Watson, lob it down low, and this is Huff. And they're going to say that it's basket interference. Pretty easy high-low pass. He had him sealed right in the middle of the lane, which I always thought posting up right in the middle of the lane was the hardest one to guard. And it keeps the help side defense at bay, and you have a chance to make an easy basket. And you saw there on the replay, it hit the glass, hit the backboard, and that's when Richards touched it. So it clearly was goaltending. Tigers a 7-4 to four lead. And the basketball. Williams weaving. A skip pass to Odom who drives baseline. No whistle, but Odom will just reverse lay it in. And now quick uh, pass up the floor to Hickman. Gives it up to Watson. He'll take a three. And that's a bad shot. Odom looking to push. And did not have numbers, so he'll slow it down. Yeah, that's something that, that the Gonzaga teams under Mark Few have done so well is they look for that quick three, you know, on misses and makes. They'll get the ball up the floor quickly and see if that shot is there. And they did it that time. And Hickman passed to Watson, who could not make it, obviously, as Odom up to too strong. Good-looking shot. Four though. guys getting back on defense. I, I never wanted four guys back on defense. They can look for that long rebound. Stromer can't get it to fall, but Watson there to clean it up. 
I think there's a lot of long rebounds, 15, 17 feet, where if you look in that long rebound, you can go get some of those. Williams accelerates, dishes to Richards, and feathers it through. Richards off to a good start, good pass, good penetration, and you pass the ball under control. It's been a nice response here by the Tigers coming off that loss. I mentioned a couple times now, but it just bears repeating because it was such a demoralizing loss on Thursday at St. Mary's for Pacific as Hickman can't get it to go, but will get to the line. I think every loss I had as a coach was demoralizing. I hated them all. I remember a few, though, that, that really stuck in your craw worse than others. I remember there was a, a game at Cal Poly, I think, your team scored like 37 points. Yeah, and, I mean, sometimes that you, you do, but yeah. I'll tell you, the, the one that I thought they took away from us in the NCAA, that's, that's the ones that when you play really good and there's a tough call at the end that really, when they later on, the, the, the ref, commissioner says, you know, that was the wrong call, and then you lose the game because of that, those are the ones that really sting. I know we have more of a national audience tonight for this game, so if you're inclined, go to the 2006 NCAA tournament and see the Pacific Boston College box score. That was a game that uh, Pacific should have won. There was a, a phantom foul called on Christian Morker. Uh, the Tigers uh, potentially could have gone to the Sweet 16. They would have had Montana next, and that was one of your best squads. And uh, the officials ended up admitting uh, long after that they missed that call. And uh, that was one that Pacific fans will, will never get over because of what could have been as a turnover here. And Nemhard is fouled, and he'll go to the line. Couldn't get the shot to go, but he was bumped off. And the foul is going to be on Judson Martindale. Enough contact there for you to call the foul? Yeah, I think there was there was contact right there. You got to run in and get position. You know, you got to get you get in front of the ball. And Nemhard is a 79% free throw shooter and can't get the first. It was the third attempt from the line for Gonzaga. Nolan Hickman made the other two. So Nemhard splits him, and it's a two point game. This is a Denson drive. Denson met at the rim. It was a terrific block there by Braden Huff at six foot ten. Now Nemhard leads for the trailer. Watson, but his pocket picked, and Odom has it. Tigers have numbers. Odom shovels to Nick Blake, and Blake puts it off the window. No, there was no whistle, but now there is one. And what do we got here? Glenn Mayberry. Foul on the rebound, put back. So they called the foul on Makai Richards. I thought they could have called one. On Gonzaga, I thought it was an over-the-back uh, loose ball foul they called on Richards. It was actually on Braden Huff on the putback. So it'll be Cam Denson at the line to shoot these free throws for the Tigers, who lead 11-9. to The Tigers have led most of this game, all but 23 seconds, as the first free throw is no good. I, That's after the, the, they broke the tie. I used to tell my players, when you're tipping a ball because they want to give you a two-shot foul, make sure it looks like you're shooting. <laughs> Fake it. Denson's had his uh, struggles at the line, but he's up to 50%, and he splits the pair. I know it doesn't seem like much, saying that Denson's up to 50%, but he was languishing in the, the high 30s, low 40s for a while, so he's really come around with his foul shooting. And uh, by splitting the pair, he gives the Tigers a three-point lead here at the Alex G. Spanos Center. Anton Watson guarded by Richards. Watson wants to take him to the paint, does, floats it, and gets it. Yeah, Odom just kind of reached out and kind of waved his hand. He's got to get his body in front of stop that dribble, then get back to his man. Pacific's led by as many as five. They lead by two as we approach the 11-minute mark in the first half. Donovan Williams to Nick Blake. Blake, arguably, arguably the most athletic guy on this Pacific team. Back to Williams. Donovan, a lift fake, gets into the paint, scoops it up, and in. He should do that all night. Just drive, 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 and drive. Also, uh, freshman William Garcia absent on the floor for the Tigers, the freshman from Stockholm, Sweden, as Nemhart finds some room for a three. Misses. Garcia absent. Did a nice job sticking his nose in there for the rebound, and then a loose ball foul called on Gonzaga. 
And uh, that's going to be on Dusty Stromer. Cam Denson right back in there. Makai Richards will check out. Makai Richards, by the way, was six points, so he's been the leading scorer for the Tigers. He'll get a rest. Williams thought about a three, gives it up to Blake instead. Odom, what a dish to Garcia at somebody was not ready. That was a that was a fastball, and he put it right there. Good passes are caught. That's all. I'm just going to make that statement. Good passes are caught. So a turnover, and it turns into a three for the Bulldogs. So 15-14 Pacific. Blake off the screen to Denson. Denson trying to go at Hickman, banging his way in. Sandwich between defenders to Blake, to Odom. Five to shoot, Odom, fade away, got it. Had a bigger guy on him, so he penetrated and stepped back, created some space for a good jump shot. Ryan Nemhard. Tiger Bench wanted a legal screen there, and they find Hickman near corner for three, and he buries it. You know, sometimes they want a legal screen because the guy gets screened hard, but it was just a good screen. And they want, you know, too many people want to call offensive fouls, you know, when you set a hard screen. So Gonzaga has tied it at 17 with that make. Williams lost his dribble. And now to Denson, oh, and Denson's bumps. I don't think that's going to be a shot. I think that was very clearly on the floor. And no shot. And the foul is going to be on Anton Watson. And that will get Tan Yildizolu, the freshman from Istanbul, on the floor. Mo Odom will get a rest here for Pacific. Odom with four points and two assists. Donovan Williams out to Denson. Denson threw the paint to Garcia Adson, who barely tipped the iron with that three. So now Gonzaga a chance to lead, if you believe it, for the first time. And Garcia Adson's going to commit the foul there, trying to stop Ben Gregg. And that is... The fifth team foul on the Tigers. Laysan Hallams Jr. gets in there for Pacific. Donovan Williams gets a rest. And Makai Richards will get in there for Garcia Adston. From baseline left, Nemhard will trigger in. And Huff lost it. And uh, they're going to say out of bounds off of Pacific, so Gonzaga will retain possession 18 on the shot clock. There's a big defensive possession here for the Tigers, big defensive stand if they can have one. Gonzaga hasn't led in this game a chance to kind of keep momentum on their side if you're Pacific. Nemhard is going to be fouled. Can't let guys go right or down. You know, you know, you gotta get on that right hand, push it down the middle of the court, make them go to the left, get people in there. They're, they're not shooting great from the outside. I think if you're gonna get beat, make them beat you up from the outside and not get to the free throw line. Tanya Dezolu committed the foul for Pacific, and Nemhard misses the first. By the way, Gonzaga did have a lead. It was. Uh, a two-point lead. Yeah, it was 2 nothing, But they've not led since. And Nemhard trying to change that. And he can't. He missed them both. And again, Nemhard is 79% free throw shooter. And he's missed three from the line. Ilda Zolu terminates the dribble and gets it to Blake. Eight to shoot. Blake, big spin move, lost the handle, gets it back. Blake has to shoot and nails it. 
that was kind of lucky. He got a lot of one-on-one -on -one and just hope hope things work out. Tigers need that basket, but you need to get ball movement to ease your shots. Nemhard from the right elbow ties it right back up. Nemhard, 43% from the floor. He averages 12 and a half a game, but he's also their leading assist man. Six and a half assists per game. So really uh, a big part of the engine that makes Gonzaga go is Yilda Zolu. Lost it, and Nemhart comes away with the loose ball. And Nemhart uh, lobbed to Greg, who's met by Richards, and they're going to get Richards for the foul here. Guys got to get back faster. When they see a turnover, they got to sprint back, get in there and clog it up. So the foul's going to be on Mackay. So Cam Denson missed a free throw, and they, they gave him a free throw, I guess. You think they would have stopped it before this time? The people on the bench. Yes, yeah, so they gave him credit for two. He made one of two. As the Greg's free throw is good. They used to call that home court advantage. <laughs> Man, if that was home court advantage back in the day, that was quite something. As the Greg makes them both. So, again, they, they took a point off the board for Pacific. So now Gonzaga leads 21 to 18. See how they're dribbling, they're stagnant. They're just waiting for a screen that they don't even really screen. Odom, Man. though, finds Odom Breeze. does it on himself. But you just can't win against good teams going on yourself all the time. You're going to happen to one once in a while you can do that. This is Hickman with a little stutter move. Hickman swarmed down there. He'll get it out. Now in the hands of Watson, who tries to go baseline, spins back to the paint, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. I mean, Denson just reached in there and fouled him on the wrist. And when you foul a shooter, you got to make sure they don't make the free throw. You know, you never want an and one. But again, use your body. When guys are spinning like that, get your body and let them spin right into you. Watson, ooh, ugly duckling of a free throw, but it falls. Just kind of deadened off the heel and it fell through. Denson out, Williams back in for the Tigers. So it's Odom, Blake, Williams, Hallams, and Richards for the Tigers. And for the Zags, it's Nemhard, Stromer, Hickman, Watson, and Greg. Tigers got to get Blake going. You know, he, he was pretty... Good offensive player, scoring some points, and also in the last two games, he's just getting shut down. Odom splits defenders, then kicks it out. Williams for three. Nemhard creeps into about 17 feet, can't get it to go, and a good rebound there by Nick Blake getting higher than everybody. Odom, nice dish down low to Williams, who goes up and gets fouled. I think it's going to be on Watson. Kind of a touch foul on the body, because it definitely was a block on the shot. Yeah, it was on Watson. So Donovan Williams will attempt to pair. Williams averaging uh, just over nine points a game for the Tigers. And, and talk about a guy that is hot or cold. I mean, he can be a complete difference maker some nights and then absent other nights. But from the line, a 64% free throw shooter. But he's more capable from the line than that number would suggest as he drains both of those. Kind of like when he gets hitting shots, he relaxes a little and continues to hit shots. Greg will launch, and it's short, and the long rebound comes out to Nemhard, so a second chance opportunity for Gonzaga. Stromer misses everything, and Blake will save it to Williams. Tigers looking to get out and run, perhaps. Odom 
to Tyler Beard, who's just checked in, and Beard can't quite oh, get it to fall. It's a good shot for him. It's a good shot for him. Yeah, you love the look there for Tyler Beard. Stromer down low, and he traveled. So the last Stromer. long rebound that Gonzaga got, Williams was leaking out on the fast break, and the ball bounced right where he should have been. So you can't expect to rebound when you're going down the fast break. All five guys got a rebound for the Tigers. Stromer with the turnover for Gonzaga. Again, a true freshman. Nick Blake will rise up, and it's an air ball. Looking to push, and Donovan Williams disrupts that. They were trying to get it ahead to Ben Gregg. And so 4.58 to go. The ball stays with Gonzaga. The Zags leading by two. See how Beard got over there and stopped that penetration right with his chest. Tigers for a moment showed a double team, then it backed off, and Huff will take it and somehow find it uh, some space to get it through the cylinder. That was a big drive there by Braden Huff, and I thought decent defense played by Pacific. Not bad defense. A little too much penetration for a big guy like that. But. It was a high degree of difficulty on that finish for Braden Huff. Odom, a little head fake to Williams with 10 on the shot timer. That's her first pass, and there's 10 seconds on the shot clock. Williams a drive. And what a shot. What a drive. And he should, remember earlier I said he should be doing that all the time. Keep pressure on the Zags. Get him in foul trouble. Huff is rejected by Makai Richards. Out of nowhere. Under four to go in the first half. And the Tigers a chance to tie or take the lead. Pacific has led for most of this half. Good pass from Odom to Richards, left hand, and that shot, I think, partially blocked by Ben Gregg. Nemhard, good bounce pass, and unable to stuff it, Gregg, but Richards he got can't fouled. take that long to get back. I mean, you know, he's going to get back there and clog things up for him. So free throws coming for Ben Gregg when we come back after this. These teams pretty tough, and so Pacific just needs to keep on, on fast breaks. Fast break, get to the basket, penetrate, take good shots. Then when you don't have it, then you can use the clock a little by they, uh, pass the ball a little more. But the drill penetration is going well. Ben Gregg, the junior from Clackamas, Oregon. Played in a career high 36 games as a sophomore last year. Averaged just over five points a game. And he extends the Gonzaga lead to four, which matches their largest lead of the contest. Richard slipping to the basket, was walled off there, so he'll feed it back out to Beard, and now to Donovan Williams. Nick Blake has the ball knocked away. Greg with it, and Greg with the layup. He, you know, you know they're jumping out on the on-ball screen. That's why slipping things or moving the ball, but they should be prepared for that. You shouldn't be surprised by them jumping that hard. They've done it all game. Odom skips it to Beard. He's open and drains it. Beard's one of their best three-point shooters on the team, and he should be looking for those shots all. Zaga back up the floor quickly, as I mentioned before. That's been their M.O. for years. Stromer to Greg. Greg will go with the right hand and get it to go, and he's going to the line. So Ben and Greg is let him do it though. See, so you're, you're just letting him go where he wants to go, and then you foul the shooter. You can't foul shooters in college basketball. I, I believe that. And then you go get him, make him pick the ball up, then you can get back to your man. William Garcia Addison comes in. Makai Richards will check out. The Tigers got to be careful this last two and a half minutes. Way too many fouls. Greg can't complete the three-point play, but Gonzaga might get more than they bargained for with Hickman taking a three, but that's short. And Nick Blake crashing the glass there. And uh, William Garcia Adson is down, holding his right ankle. The Tigers are without Burke Smith tonight. 
one of their bigger guys, a stretch four. Uh, he has a virus, so he is out tonight. So the Tigers are already a bit thin. And if uh, William Garcia Addison can't continue, that might make it very challenging moving forward here as far as just having some size out there. So we'll hope that that's just uh, maybe a, a twist, but right now he's not putting any pressure on that. Doesn't right look angle. like just a twist. Yeah. So Greg Outlaw is summoned off the bench. Hey, John, John, you got number four, John. Greg, you looks like he just three. did that on his own. You got four. Nick, you got eleven. Nick, you got eleven. Thirty-two twenty-seven. Gonzaga by five. And we're getting towards two minutes to go here in the first half. Blake will take it, dish it out to Odom for three. And Outlaw couldn't quite clamp it for the Tigers. He had a chance. Braden Huff couldn't get it on the first try, and Outlaw was unable to steal it from him. Corkscrewing his way down low is Huff. The foul him. got belly up. You got to know how to belly up and make people make shots in the post. They fouled him about every time the Gonzaga's made a, uh, a post move. They're going to keep on throwing the ball in there and going. Greg Outlaw commits the foul. And that first free throw will not fall for Braden Huff, a 46% free throw shooter. Mentioned from Glen Ellen, Illinois. A Glenbard West High School. He's a four-star recruit. Mr. Basketball in the state of Illinois after his senior season. And he misses both free throws. The Tigers dodging a bullet there. Gonzaga's only committed seven fouls, by the way. So the Tigers still in the one and one whereas Pacific has committed ten. So the Zags already in the double bonus here for the half. Four to shoot, Odom launches and connects. That was a big shot for the Tigers, but not very much action now as far as movement. And down low, Tigers are going to get two right back there as Huff gets loose for the dunk. Well, you certainly can't rest on your laurels when you play Gonzaga. I mean, they get up the floor quick. They have purpose to what they're doing. And the euphoria of uh, Odom's three was short-lived there. Six to shoot. Tyler Beard, a shot fake. Kind of drive the baseline. They're going to call a foul here on mm -hmm. Hickman. Yeah. So one and one coming for Nick or for uh, Tyler Beard, I beg your pardon. Right. Beard has not attempted a lot of free throws this season. He's six of 11. He has a chance now to drop Pacific within two. And this is a two-for-one here for the Tigers. This is a 10.9 seconds separate the shot and game clock. And now Leonard Perry's going to call a timeout. And so if you're Pacific, Coach, this is a great opportunity uh, with this last defensive to finish the half. Ryan Nemhard brings the ball up the floor. Tigers go to the zone defense. Stromer to Hickman. And down low to Greg, who's blocked from behind. Loose ball. Williams gathers it. And the Tigers will slow it down and uh, hope for the last shot of the half. A chance to tie or take the lead. This is an intriguing possession here for Pacific. Five seconds, and Odom still dribbling. Odom pulls up for a long three. Got it! Great way to finish the half for the Tigers. And that brings the Spano Center to life here in Stockton. 
So Mo Odom with a three to F. I think Gonzaga will have vivid memories of what happened uh, there against LMU a season ago. But first things first, the start of the second half is upon us, and Anton Watson uh, will inbound for the Zags. Hickman to E.K., who, again, didn't even play four minutes in the first half. E.K. spinning baseline, goes up, makes it, and they will count it. And the but they had the double team down there. Richards. They had the double team down there, and he couldn't do anything. And they left the double team, and he turns around and shoots, and they foul him for a three-point play. So Graham E.K., a 75% free throw shooter. Their leading score, 15 points a game. And a three-point play for E.K., who again only had two points in the first half. So he's already eclipsed that on the Gonzaga's first possession of the second half. And now the Tigers' first possession. Odom, who had that three to end the first half, had the ball knocked away by Hickman. Odom, for somewhere to go, shovels it off to Denson. Denson goes up, gets blocked by E.K. Four to shoot. Denson spinning into E.K. And Judson oh, Martingale came play, out of nowhere yeah. and tipped it in. Great, great hustle on the offensive glass. And the shot clock was at one when Martindale got his hand in there. E.K., and he is rejected emphatically by Denson. The ball pinballing, finds the hands of Watson, who lays it up. Got to get in. that loose ball. Well, Coach, you were right about one thing. Gonzaga looks like they want to pound it inside. They've gone inside twice now to E.K. I'm sure they missed his presence again. They chose to sit him with two fouls in the first half. Denson puts the ball on the floor. Denson will put a floater up and in. Put the ball on the floor. They don't need to guard him on the outside. They know he's not going to shoot the ball. They just got to cut his penetration off. E.K. with Richards on him. E.K. spins baseline up with the left hand, and that's a great touch from the big man. Yeah, big man likes that. He can put the ball on the floor, take his time. He knows he's one-on-one. -on -one. Good players are going to score that a high percentage of the time. So Graham E.K., the Wyoming transfer, coming to life here in the second half of the Zags. Denson again will go inside. Greg on him, Denson, couple of shot fakes. Denson misses everything. Not a good shot. Wasn't there. Greg will launch, and it's off the mark. By the way, Greg, a 34% shooter from outside, so he can make him out there. It's going to stay with the Tigers. It's not, not a good place for Odom to dribble to the baseline and pick the ball up. You need to back that dribble up and create some space. I mean, you pick it up, you can get stuck there. Very lucky to keep that ball after that pass. The Tigers want the horns action here, so Denson comes up, sets the screen, then gets it back. Denson, a bit too strong. That was on line. Now, you want him shooting threes? 41, 50% free throw shooter? I think that's not what they're looking for. Them hard to EK. EK spins baseline, and EK got the side of the backboard, but the Tigers can't get the loose ball. Now Nemhard to Watson, and Watson blocked from behind, but simultaneously fouled by Judson Martindale. By the way, for Denson, that was his 11th three-point attempt this season. He's 2 for 11 on the year. And Anton Watson misses. Watson now 1 of 2 from the line. Boy, Gonzaga has really struggled from the line in this game. 
Gonzaga 9 of 16. And one of two. Zags lead by three. Nick Blake to Mo Odom. Odom shimmies right, dribbles left, and now back right, spins left. Odom in the paint, floats it up, but no good. Tough shot. Going to EK again. And EK, despite being swarmed, finds a crease and lays it up and in. And if he's going to get going like that, it's going to be a long second half of the Tigers. Why is he going to get going? They're going to go there every time. Blake will drive in to Watson and a blocking foul called on Watson. Those are tough calls. You know, either way you call it, someone's going to be upset. I always look at the, the, the off. Fifteen forty-nine to go in the second half. Zach Bay, Rudy, Bob Thomason, glad to have you with us. West Coast Conference Hoops on ESPN Let's Plus. Mo Odom will inbound to Makai Richards after a Gonzaga blocking foul on Sharp. Anton Watson took us into the under sixteen yeah. timeout. Odom to Donovan Williams. Williams off the dribble. And a foul here on the Zags. Um, and that's going to be on Ryan yeah, Nemhard. No. You got to do that more. Second team foul in the second half. Each team has committed two, and then the Tigers turn it over. And they give up. And uh, Nemhard missed the dunk. They're lucky there. Nemhard was going for style points. Williams thought about a long three, lip fake, drive, and he is blocked from behind by E.K. Those are good hands good there drive, by E.K. Though. That was a very good drive. E.K. feeling it, and he drains it. Graham E.K. can do a lot for you, as we've seen here in the second half. He's been a monster. He's 36% from beyond the arc this season. And Graham E.K., who had just two points in the first half, is again, coming to life for Gonzaga. EK now with 12 after that made shot. And Gonzaga now with its biggest lead of the night. Williams gets fouled. They're lucky on that. No. Didn't seem like there was much available there, so well, Williams a drive. A player, they, they have to understand what he's trying to do and just play good defense, get your hands straight up, make him make that shot. Free throw for Williams is good. Donovan Williams, three for three now from the line, and he's got seven points. Again, Mo Odom leading the way for Pacific with 12. Williams connects on both, so he stays perfect from the stripe, and it's a six-point spread. Gonzaga 47, Pacific 41. Tigers back in the zone defense. This is Stromer, and he's way short, and it's going to be Pacific basketball. Stromer 35% from three on the year. I bet you he hasn't had a lot of air balls this year, though. Stromer 0 for 2 now from beyond the arc. Uh, 0 for 3, beg your pardon, from beyond the arc and from the floor. So all of his field goal attempts have been threes. Williams and Martindale could have had a shot there. Instead, he'll drive, and they're going to say it just rolled off his hand. No I foul. Think, I think that's a good call. I think he just forced it. Yeah, why yeah. don't shot number one out here on the top? But he's got to take an extra dribble and get off both feet to the basket. He left. Picked it up too early. Now he's stretching through that. Makes it too difficult of a shot. Yeah, and I think Leonard Perry wanted to see him shoot the ball. Because that's his game. But Gonzaga with the ball and a six-point lead. 
Straightaway three is off the mark from Hickman. The rebound taken by Denson. Big board there for Denson. Odom thought about it. Thinks better of it. And they'll enter it to Denson, and it got deflected away. And had that pass been feathered, that would have been a layup. A lot of standing the off ball over here. They're not getting movement so people can go help. they got to interchange, cut the basket, move. Make it hard on Gonzaga. Odom's going to take the three and off the mark. And it's on Watson Skies for the rebound. Hickman knifing through the D, and a floater is good. Tough shot, though. Gonzaga by eight. Denson on the baseline, sneaks by EK, but then hits the bottom of the rim. Going to EK again. Why not? He's been unstoppable and remains so. Well, so got to double him. You know, get in there and double him. He's going to continue to do that the rest of the game. So now Gonzaga leads by 10. And this is where, if you're the Tigers, you really have to watch out. Because these uh, these types of runs are patented for Gonzaga, where they just, they just go on a big old run and put you away. Tigers have not scored in over two and a half minutes. This is now a 12 to two run for the Zags, and we have a whistle. And the foul is going to be on Ryan Nemhard. to Denson curling in and Denson that was a good drive right there he lowered his shoulder and went right to the basket no back off the Tigers needed that again they've been scoreless for over two and a half minutes and that's going to be off the bottom of the backboard for Greg Odom looking to push what a bounce pass ahead to Williams and what a finish uh -oh. great pass great catch and to gather himself and finish that was pretty impressive Looks like Gonzaga might have been about to deliver. Gonzaga 51, Pacific 45 after a Mark Few timeout. Tigers back on the defensive end. Pacific looking for an upset here. Gonzaga stretched the lead to 10, but the Tigers have counterpunched as Hickman left wing three. That's off the mark, and Gonzaga continues to struggle from three, Coach. Yeah, and what happens is when you start struggling, you get tighter and tighter, and those threes become more difficult. Zags are now three for 16, three for 16 from beyond the arc. Odom, a long two, falls back, can't get it to go. Tough shot. That's and not a great shot right there. I mean, and a loose ball foul called on Cam Denson. And this is going to be... Anton Watson turns around, misses the bunny, gets his own miss, and puts it back up and in. He went right inside of the zone like you knew they would. So 53-45, Gonzaga's lead is eight.
Denson left of the lane. And EK jabbing at him. Denson will go off the dribble. Stop in the paint, try and feed it out to Odom. It's deflected away by Gonzaga, and the Tigers keep it. But with seven seconds on the shot clock. Denson with five to shoot. Slips to the bucket, misses the layup. Donovan Williams, though, great follow, and he'll yeah, draw a foul. Great job. Good hustle play. So Williams crashing late, and he'll be rewarded with a trip to the line, and that foul is going to be on Ryan Nemhart. That's the Nemhart's third personal. The hustle of Williams rewarded there. Well, I like them going to the offensive board. They got some good athletes, the Tigers, but once them to go back on defense, you got to attack. you got to get extra possessions. Williams stays perfect from the line. Five of five now. Williams now the second Tiger in double figures, Mo Odom being the other with 12, but Odom does not have any second half points. Six point. Gonzaga lead as we reach the halfway mark here in the second half. And the Tigers create a turnover. Blake wants to go into the paint, does, and a blocking foul, and Blake's going to get the He got the mismatch with a faster player, and he took him off the dribble, and that's what you want to do. Fouls on Anton Watson. And again, just as it appeared, Gonzaga was starting to create some game-changing separation. The Tigers have hung in there, and that's the Pacific's credit. But they scored, and they got a nice, fast break score. Now they had a timeout. Gonzaga did go inside that zone really well, but they turned it over the second time. So Nick Blake, who has two points in this game, will attempt his first free throws of the night. And the first one rattles through. For Nick Blake, he's a 68% free throw shooter. The Tigers is a team, not a good free throw shooting team, just 62% on the year. Come on, Pop. That's the trouble. The Tigers let the Tigers hang around this whole game. Once you get inside 10 minutes to go in a close game, you forget that that other team is supposed to be better than you are. The yeah, Tigers have to be looking up at the scoreboard, and uh, despite being the big underdogs in this game, think that they belong. That one got spit back out by the rim. Great and They're lucky there. Right close. When that ball goes inside, he's dribbling the ball. they got to get in there and knock those balls out of there and make them pass the ball back out. They're right there. They're going to score on that play over 50% of the time. So a four-point game, Pacific with the ball. Martindale, quick off the dribble to the baseline, feeds out to Williams. Now across the way to Blake. Judson Martindale, a holy cross transfer to Tyler Beard. Beard for three. Got it. Hey, that's the guy that needs to be shooting those threes. And, Coach, you know as well as anybody, when the Spano Center becomes a factor, this building can really come to life. Oh, yeah. And now the fans starting to get some juice. EK. Go get them. Go get them. That's it. See? And See, now you're making it. them pass the ball and do things they don't want to do. EK traveled. Pacific has not beaten Gonzaga since rejoining the West Coast Conference in 2013. Nick Blake gives the Tigers the lead. He, he's starting to come around. He knows there's a mismatch there. Tigers had been down 10, and now as we approach eight minutes to go, Pacific leads by one. This is a 7-0 run for the Tigers, and if you zoom out a little further, 11-2. 
Nemhard will answer for the Zags. But I would I would ignore that him hitting that three. You know, I'm just go back and do your thing. Gonzaga has won 21 Tigers of the previous 22 right matchups. Now. You gotta keep the pressure on them. Move that ball. Cam Denson will drive and then weave it back out with seven to shoot. Denson is out of bounds. Oh, they're gonna say a blocking it was, foul. That was a good call. And that's gonna be one and one. Tigers got stagnant that possession for the time. Uh, Tigers have figured things out defensively. They've been able to score some points, obviously, and they find themselves neck and neck with the Zags. Yeah, they've gone to a zone defense, which helped keep the ball out of the, the middle of the court or real low post, but they got to continue to do that and make the Zags shoot the ball from the perimeter. Not that they can't do that, but if you're going to get beat at home, make them make three-point shots to beat you, not free throws or easy shots inside. For the tie, and Denson much improved from the line. 56 up here in Stockton. And now the Spano Center becomes a factor. Got the old wooden bleachers across the way from us, and they can really get loud over there. Greg for three. They've hit two threes back to back, but they got to challenge those guys. Just because you're in a zone does not mean you don't challenge shooters. Gonzaga has struggled from beyond the arc in this game. We've talked about it, but Greg making one at a key time there for the Zags. Denson, clumsy dribble. He's able to recover. Tyler Beard thought about launching. Four to shoot, and now three. Denson will launch. Oh, he almost got it. Not good possession for the Tigers. He get Odom back in the game also, I think. Nemhard lost his dribble. Gives to Hickman. Nemhard for three. And that will roll oh through. Oh, my goodness. Hits the side of the rim, hit the backboard, hit the side of the rim, and then went in. So just like that, Gonzaga by six. Martindale try and get one back, and Martindale with a step back broke the ankles of, I believe it was Braden Huff, but ugly looking shot there. Hickman. Able to find Nemhard in traffic. EK got his pocket picked by Nick Blake. So Blake with active hands comes up with the steal. And Beard going to go right to the 10 and lay it Oh, in. what a hard shot that was. Look out, it's EK. Oh. And, oh, You can't man. just do a little touch foul like on him. you got to make a hard foul. Nowadays in basketball, that's probably t <laughs> intentional, but uh, you, you can't just make that little slap foul. Well, oh boy, EK was right there at the rim, and that hit every part of the rim and didn't drop through. You don't know how that ball didn't go in. Well, after Nemhard's three hit the, the front of the rim and bounced in, I think the Tigers were owed one there. EK one for one from the line in this game, and make it one for two. Coach, you mentioned Mo Odom back on the floor here. Blake and Denson will check out. EK splits them. Sixty-three fifty-eight, Gonzaga. Plenty of time here. Five minutes remaining. Odom oh. left his feet to pass and just didn't have anything there. And now Hickman for three. 
That's a big turnaround there. That's a five-point play. And Odom slams the basketball a couple of times in frustration as he walks back to the bench as Leonard Perry calls a timeout. Never a good idea to leave your feet to pass, <laughs> number one. He had four fouls this yeah. half, and that's made a lot of difference in the game. Yeah, Tigers, as Coach mentioned, have only committed four fouls. Gonzaga's committed seven to the Tigers in the one and one, and Gonzaga's still a long way from it. So Beard inbounds to Odom. Odom to Beard to Martindale. No hesitation, and Martindale drains the three. And boy, that was a big shot game. right there. So Judson Martindale keeps the Tigers buoyed with under four and a half to go. Tigers back to man to man. Nemhard for three. And now Gonzaga's making everything from beyond yeah, the arc. Going under the screen. You got to get out there and still show and be tough. Martindale passes up the three this time, gives this side to Beard, shot fake, Beard penetration, bounce pass to Richards, and that pinball's out of bounds, and they say off of Pacific. I think that's just a tough pass for Richards to handle. Yeah, there. I just don't think if they need to make that pass, even though he was there, he can fake it, maybe to get a Thirty-eight to go here in Stockton. Gonzaga trying to survive the Spano Center tonight. 69-61. The Zags with the lead. The Tigers have given them all they can handle tonight. Gonzaga has led by as many as ten. The Tigers have led by as many as five. Ek has been a favorite target here in the second half, but he'll give it out. And Nemhard will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Nemhard off the dribble, off the glass, no. And a rebound taken by Gonzaga. They find E.K. in the paint, goes up, and it's got to be a chance at a three-point play for Graham E.K. Played pretty good defense there, but you got to get that, that, that rebound. That's been the story of the Tigers' season, the inability to get the rebound and second-chance points for the opponent. And so E.K. a chance to give Gonzaga its biggest lead of the night. And does. Boy, is he been special in the second half or what? He sure Eke. has. He's big, strong, hit a three, made some free throws. EK with 18 points now. We had a foul here on Nemhard, and it's going to be one and one. We'll see if who the shooter is. Looks like it's going to be Makai Richards. But EK with 18 points. He had just two points and played only three minutes and 51 seconds in the first. Yeah, good half. players can do that. I mean, he, he played. He didn't play because of foul trouble. They were just holding him out to keep him fresh for the second half, and he, and they got the ball inside. And I said that early in the half. They're going to go inside every time. And they did because so the Tigers had to pack it in, and they hit some threes. Makai Richards. Connects on the front end. The Richards at seven points, and he's one of two now from the line. So Richards makes them both. Denson is back in. Under three minutes to go, it's a nine-point game, and the Pacific needs stops now. They got to put a little pressure on too. That was a nice yeah. uh, screen and Tig roll. Tigers haven't put any pressure in the full court. They might get a turnover. 74-63. Odom trying to go in on EK and then a bad pass. I think that might about do it. This is EK 
And why not? He now has 20 points. 18 have come in the second half. Tigers quickly up the floor as we get to the two-minute mark. Donovan Williams, and Donovan Williams misses short, but he's going to get to the line. That's a tough call because he's jumping right into the defense and forcing the action, and they gave, they gave it to him. So Nemhard commits the foul, and uh, he has fouled out. So Dusty Stromer is going to come in for Nemhard, who fouls out with 12 points on four of nine. He was three of five from outside. Nemhard hit a couple of big shots in the second half. They, they did, and they got the target to collapse, and, and they stepped up and made shots. You know they're capable of making them, but they weren't doing it the whole game. So the Tigers played smart and played pretty well tonight. They just didn't have enough in the tank to get it done. Odom had a great first half and really hasn't had any impact on the game in the second half. And you got to have, when you play well, you got to continue playing well through that whole game. Donovan Williams had been six for six from the line prior to that miss. So this has been a tough couple of minutes here for Pacific and Gonzaga now leading by 13. And we're down to the last 100 seconds. Hickman. And Gonzaga able to track down the rebound. And up top to Watson. Shovel pass to Stromer was not ready for it. And the Tigers come away with a steal. Stromer was not ready for that pass. Odom. Tigers trying to go quick. Donovan Williams will drive. Williams in the paint over EK. Gets the roll. And Pacific will call a timeout here, down by 11 with a minute 13 to go. And uh, game, you know, they, they get up six or eight, and they'll have a lull, and they'll be back to tied. And they have to figure out a way through the rotation of players and the way they're playing to keep it pretty steady through the whole game. And and then the case is still not they're going to win all the games. No. And the Tigers will foul Dusty Stromer. In the backcourt. Stromer, though, is, a, well, he's not going to the line, but if he does get there, he's an 85% shooter. That's only the fifth team foul here in the second half on the Tigers. So Pacific can be really aggressive here with impunity and try and get a ball, and they do. Donovan Williams comes up with a steal. Williams will drive the baseline, then stop. Williams out to Nick Blake. Blake, a shot fake. We'll give it to Cam Denson. Back out to Blake with the... Blake going into the defense. It's going to be a blocking foul on Nolan Hickman. So Tigers get a steal. Took Great a steal while by there. Williams, yeah. But Blake's going to get to the line. And just to, to clean that up, the Tigers have committed now 16 fouls. That was one off. So the next foul would put Gonzaga at the line. And the way they're shooting free throws, that's not all bad. Again, Zaga tonight, 12 of 20. The Tigers, 15 of 19. Was online and missed three in a row right now. That's where you have to capitalize and then get a steal with, you know, all the things that are going wrong. You can't miss free throws. Well, Blake one of two, and it's a ten-point game with under a minute to go. And he'll force Gonzaga to call timeout here. Watson calls a timeout. Yeah, yeah that, that's me. Geico makes it easy to get coverage for what you care about. Car. Gonzaga gets it in, and Watson to Greg, and they turn it over, and Nick Blake with a layup. And what a gift there for the Tigers. It's now 76-68. Tigers continue with the backcourt pressure. 
And now Greg able to take it across midcourt. Greg to EK. Out to Watson. Tigers need a foul here. And they're going to, I guess, foul Hickman. There goes the whistle finally. So Hickman gets fouled. And that is going to put Gonzaga in the one and one. So Hickman, a 79% free throw shooter, is two for two from the line in this game. And he earns another. So back to a 10-point Gonzaga lead. And whatever the Tigers do here, they got to do it quickly. Martindale being swarmed to Mo Odom. And Odom spins in the paint. Odom hangs, can't convert. Greg with the rebound, and uh, he is fouled, and that should about do it. Donovan Williams commits the foul. And uh, Gonzaga will escape here tonight with a win and improved to 6-1 and one in league. Tigers will fall to 0-7. This was a heck of an effort by Pacific tonight, especially on the heels of a 48-point loss. You know, it's just so tough to gauge how a team is going to come off a loss like that. And uh, the yeah, Tigers came well. out with good energy you know, tonight. The Zags did not shoot the ball well for the perimeter and the free throw line early, but then they make key three-point shots down the stretch. The Tigers missed a few free throw opportunities. Got a little one-on-one -on -one too much, but you know, they played a good game. And hopefully they can learn from this and continue on so when Portland comes to town next week, they can play the same way. Yeah, and that's uh, a game that the Tigers certainly are eyeing as, as if they're going to be winless in league, and that's a game they feel probably on the home court that, that they could certainly win as Williams to Denson with the flush. Very nice pass. So back to a 10-point game. and uh, I don't like fouling now. Odom will foul Hickman. I always called my team and he went to the no foul we would press and try to steal the ball but we're not going to foul we're gonna, because I mean it gets to the point where you have no chance to win the game now I came we came back from 8 points in 37 seconds so we had a chance you know right and so when you, when you have a chance you keep on fouling but once there's no chance you know, I, I just think it delays the game that's the barometer for me, that Utah State game, right, where you, you guys came back uh, trailing eight. I, I, I tell you, the one we did in uh, Puerto Rico, we were down seven with 15 seconds. We got the game to overtime one. That was pretty amazing, too. Odom crosses over. We'll feed it to Denson, and he'll have a chance to complete a three-point play. And so with 9.6 seconds to go, foul is going to be on Beg, uh, Ben Gregg and uh, Denson. Will be at the line. And for Cam Denson, he has 11 points, and he becomes the fourth Tiger to score in double figures. Lakers. Free throw is good. And that'll do it here at the Spano Center. And it was an effort, heck of an effort from the Tigers tonight who got oh so close. But Gonzaga survives here in Stockton. The Bulldogs 83 and the Tigers 73. And we will step aside.